I'm Gabrielle Pantera. I am here with Yuko Avtani. How are you today? Fine, thank you. So how does the partnership with KCETV change what you do and how you do it? Right. We always had a good relationship with KCET from 2010, but from August this year, we're now 24-7 um, on KCET on the channel 28.4. That's a digital channel mm -hmm. dedicated over the air right. uh, broadcast and uh, we are an English language television mm -hmm. catered to lots of audiences mm -hmm. around the world especially to uh, Southern uh, Californians especially because the recent um, report by Asian Americans Advanced Justice um, had a report which said that Los Angeles is now the capital of uh, Asian Americans Oh wow! with more Asian immigrants than any other county in the nation okay. so I think what we can offer is uh, Asian news, Japan news, worldwide news with Asian perspective, the Japan angle, and that would, I'm sure, cater to a lot of uh, South California people here. You cover a lot of Japanese elections. How are Japanese elections different from American elections? The election system is mm -hmm. totally different, and yours is very, very complex. Well, we don't have presidents, right? We have right. prime ministers. So well, then we have um, upper house election, lower house election, general election. That happens every two years, every three years. Media-wise, it's probably the same. It's a big show, big, big night, mm -hmm. the election night, which I've covered as well. Um, but um, I think people are less into which part, you know, I think in America, you're, you're a Republican, you're a Democrat, you, you define yourself as that more precisely than... Most people do. do. But in Japan, we're sort of, um, we don't. Okay. And people choose um, every single time, every election, with what the candidate says, and they pick whoever you want to vote. So what's your favorite thing here in America? Aha. Aha. <laughs> Actually, um, it's my first, very first time to set foot in an American mainland. So everything I, I'm seeing Everything is new. new. Everything is new. And this is your first time you flew straight to California? Uh, yes. To LA here. Okay. And you've been here how long so far? A, tw a day. 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. Okay. When you're working on a story, mm -hmm. you use the internet as well for reference for information. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? But do you use um, things like LinkedIn and, you know, because I actually, well, LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook there, and do they have their own version or is it the same as what we have here? We use. LinkedIn, we use Twitter, we do use Facebook, okay. but we do have our own system called Line as well. Oh, okay. It's called Line, and, and that's sort of very popular among Japanese people. That's okay. a bit like uh, Skype and Twitter inter oh, connect? interconnected. Ooh, um, and that's only available over there? I think you can get an app, app for here. I'm okay. not really sure. Okay, because there's also WeChat, which is a new thing oh, that... Somebody put it on my phone. <laughs> that's that's I, Chinese. Oh, that was Chinese. Oh, that's Weibo, isn't it? No, WeChat. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. That, yes. You're right. That one's Chinese. All right. See another new one. So speaking of social media, mm -hmm. if anyone wanted to get in touch with you or chat with you about anything, how would they do it? The, uh, the people I don't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Facebook, Twitter. If they have a question for you or they're interested in in a story that you you've done. We have an HK World website, and you can check in there, and then you can write. Oh, okay. We'll be back after this. We're talking with NHK World Newsline anchor Yuko Aotani. Now, I know that you do some readings of Japanese literature. Yes, I do. Is that available for people here as well, or just in Japan? Well, that's also interesting because I do some radio shows. Oh, NHK okay. NHK World is, has a radio programs as well, international, which you can hear on the web. Okay. Um, so if you just Google NHK World, then you get, get to the website. And um, it's, it's www.nhk.or.jp slash NHK World. You can get that, of course. <laughs> And um, anyway, and there recently, because reading is my passion, and mm -hmm. I've always wanted to introduce culture as well, and literature-wise, mm -hmm. and because I'm, I'm a, a book lover. And uh, recently, I did some children's uh, folk tales, Japanese original um, folk tales. Oh, and great! I did readings, and I kind of made an ebook where they mm -hmm. worked with the illustrators, the sound effect people. And if you go to that site, it's called Once Upon a Time in Japan Special. And oh, that sounds get good. Three, three stories, mm -hmm. and I read and then sound effect people put a really good sound to it and illustrator okay. made a good picture so if you go to that site you can enjoy japanese folk tales and i've also had some good interviews with translators okay. who worked with that so you can sort of understand 
what's similar and what's not different with their world uh, folk tales mm -hmm. and fa um, fairy tales, which are, which are really fascinating. As a child of growing up in London, I had a very difficult identity issue. You know, mm -hmm. I was Japanese, but I, I grew up in London. So, but then I just wanted to know more about my country. In 2011, oh, yes. they had the earthquake. Yes. Before. Where were you when it happened, first of all? Well, I was editing a feature story that I interviewed, and um, suddenly there was this big, big shake. Mm -hmm. I was in Tokyo, in the middle of Tokyo, um, in our NHK studio, mm -hmm. seventh floor, bank, middle of Tokyo, and then suddenly it started to shake. I and mean, we're used to earthquakes. We, uh, it happened. But minor ones. Minor ones. Right. I mean, it's just like a very big one. I mean, we we're like hundreds of kilometers away from the actual epicenter, mm -hmm. but still it shook. And then we thought, this is the big one. Mm -hmm. So I, I experienced the one back in Kobe um, as well. So we knew it was a big one. So I said, get down in the tape, under the table, open the door, secure the exit. Everybody running around, so what happened, what happened? And, and then after that, because we were in a newsroom, we just right. had, to, had to go down to the, the emergency um, sort of... Studio. Studio. Yeah. You no, know, um, the people who were actually doing the honor, they were kept in honor. And I went to the place where I have to do emergency announcements for people, English announcements for people who, who in Japan um, to evacuate, right to the red safe places. And so that just went on forever. And it was, it was very, very scary. I'm Yuka Antani of NHKOL TV, and you're watching Gosh TV.